motivation is very interesting actually because I think that motivation while it's a very good starting point what actually makes you keep going and what encourages you to keep going every day is creating habit so it's my habit to get out of bed at 5 a.m. in the morning and I take the dogs for a walk or take the dogs for a run and then I'll fit my training into the rest of the day just as I manage but my actual motivation for every day is to be the best person that I can be every day. And for me to be that best person, I need to train at some level or other. I train every day, maybe not at the same intensity every day, but I'll train probably for at least an hour or so. Some of it I don't really count as training, so like going for a jog or taking the dogs for a walk, in my mind doesn't really count as training. Twin. So myself and my twin sister are incredibly competitive. So a lot of the stuff that I did was trying to be different from her. And then whenever I went to university, sport became a big part of my life. One of the first things was white collar boxing. I was like, eight weeks of free training? I'm like, right there. And then the guy who was PTing me at that time, he fought my tie, so I started training in that. My tie's just different. You're always improving. I never really feel that you ever get to a point when you can go, yeah, I've totally mastered that. In the hospital, um, I work as an orthopaedic consultant specialising in tumour and trauma. So I deal with people who have bone and soft tissue cancers. Once you tell someone that they've got a cancer, often for the patients, they just go, OK, well, we've got this, we can just deal with it, there's a plan. And But it's for the, the other, their families and their friends, where they just want help and they would go through it for them in a heartbeat, but you, you actually, they can't, you know. I don't come and train to look any different or to build muscle. I train and my fitness is purely for my mental health. Even one of my guys, on the weekend, I basically had to drag him to my class. I was like, I don't promise anything ever. I never make promises that I can't keep. But I promise you, you will feel better after you come. Like, even if you just come for half an hour, I promise you, you will feel better after you've been.